and welcome back to my channel. Today I have got the biggest Primark haul you have ever seen in your lives and I'm not even joking. I don't know whether to be like embarrassed or proud of how much I've brought. I am literally surrounded in my room full of Primark goodness. Now I didn't buy all of this in one go because if I did I probably would have been escorted out of the shop. Um, I've done this in two, three shops, all from the Birmingham and Fort um, Primarks because I live in Birmingham and so they are my closest Primarks. Now, I seriously don't even know where to start because I have loads to go through, so I'll just go straight in. Please bear in mind, because this has been over a few shops, I don't know the prices of everything. I will try and remember, but you guys know it's Primark, it's super cheap, and I went into the stores, I think it was yesterday or the day before, all of this stuff is still available there as well. So, woo, I swear to God, there's candles behind me and I feel like I might catch my hair on fire. I've literally got an entire can of dry shampoo in my hair. So I'm really sorry if you can see that either one, it looks white, or two, it's still greasy. Anyway, so first thing I picked up, because it is now getting really cold, I feel like overnight in England, it has gone from a day of autumn to bam winter so i picked up some gloves these are really cute um you can take off this top layer and just have sort of like a fingerless glove um or keep it on so you've got sort of like extra warmth i guess Woo. um i'm going out for bonfire night this year and so i thought if i've got a sparkle or something it's nice to keep my hands warm i can't remember how much these were you guys i want to say they're about two or three pounds they were really really inexpensive um and that's why i picked them up to go along with that, I also picked up a bobble hat. Um, I'm not going to try and put it on because I'm already having a mare with the hair today. But I don't actually have a bobble hat. Um, and inside it is super fleecy. It's really, really soft. Um, this was £4. And I just thought, well, you can't go wrong. And it matches my gloves. So, you know. Um, and I also bought another fluffy headband. Last year I bought loads of these. I absolutely love them. Um, I think they're good just for going out, you know, Christmas market attire, woo! Um, yeah, I love these, again, this was really inexpensive, I think it was under £5, guys, um, but I absolutely love it. I didn't have a black one either, so that was quite good to grab. I feel like you should all pause and go and get a drink and some snacks, because looking around, it's going to be a big one, guys, like, I didn't realise quite how much stuff I'd actually bought. So, uh, this is one of the first tops that I got. It's a really pretty um, jumper, if I just show you. So, it's it's not like a turtleneck, and it's not like a round, normal neck. It's that sort of in-between, but I'm really liking. Um, and this material is super, super soft. I think this was five or six pounds. Um, and it's just grey and white striped, and I really, really like this. Um, I also like that the sides have got a little split in, um, and I've been getting a lot, lot of wear out of that. I'm really liking grey at the minute as well. Another grey top that I picked up, again, it's that sort of in-between um, neckline, long-sleeved grey top, um, it just comes to your waist. Um, I really like this because the stripes are almost like velvety, it's really hard to describe, but it's really like autumn perfect. Um, and I've really been enjoying wearing that. And I've actually been wearing both of those two tops with this. Um, I'm a massive lover of pinafores, whether it's winter, summer, whatever. So when I saw this, I had to get it. It is sort of like a pleather zip up pinafore dress. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's got little pockets in the front and a nice little detailing on the zip as well. And it zips all the way down to the bottom. Um, that was £8 and like I say, I've been wearing those with my grey tops underneath and I think with that neckline it just matches really, really nicely. Um, I also picked up uh, this really nice khaki green long sleeved jumper dress. Um, really is a really long dress. I absolutely love this um, with a big scarf, maybe my little fur headband and some boots and it's a perfect autumn outfit and khaki green is such an in colour at the minute I just couldn't turn that down. I think that that was £8 as well. Like I said guys, don't quote me on the prices because I can't remember. Um, next is a top that I really, really like. I think that this again was only 5 or £6, it wasn't very expensive. Um, it's like a long t-shirt. Now the front is almost like this satin material and the back is longer and it's just normal cotton material. It's got quite long sleeved, 
sleeved sleeves and I just thought this with some nice black jeans, clutch bag and some heels, you are good to go. Now I know people are probably going to be commenting like, oh could you do a try on haul? The simple answer is no because there is so much to get through, I literally do not have enough time. And also if you're from the UK you know it is dark, it's only half past four and I've got one, two, I have three lamps, a mirror light and I have my main light on as well so it looks nice and bright but guys it's all a lie it's really dark um next item I got was just sort of a basic it was this nice long sleeved black cardigan but I quite liked it because it waterfalls at the front and I just thought that was like a little added extra all my cardigans are normally button up um, so I thought it was not quite nice to have one that just sort of flowed open I think that was seven pounds and they had them in loads and loads of different colors now, this next item has a great story about it and I can laugh about it now. So, it is a zip-up pleather skirt, okay? And it zips up along the front. Saw it, fell in love, I was with my boyfriend and I was like, should I get this? And he was like, yeah. Thinking about it, he probably just wanted to get out of the shop. But you know, I loved it and he said yeah and I was like, right, if he likes it, I might as well get it. And we are going out with our friends for some food that evening. Now, my friend had just bought a new 4x4 car. And anyway, I sat in the back and we were parked in quite a tight space. So I'm feeling really good in my new skirt, really nice outfit. I go to get out of the car and I'm like just five foot two. So getting out of a four by four is like, I have to jump out. I can't just step out. No guys, I jumped and it ripped. Oh yeah, the skirt ripped. And it was the zipper that came off. I was gutted. I literally had the skirt a day. Now... I was going to take it back, but to be honest, it is something I can fix myself, but I was gutted, and all these people drove past, and I was like, I'm going to have to wear my coat on the front of my skirt to cover it up. I don't know who's calling me, it's a random number. I'm always really scared to answer unknown numbers. Anyway, so next thing I picked up, and I'm not showing you this in any order, I literally just have such a big pile, I'm having to just grab and go guys, like this is like a military operation. Um, so, this is a really nice little night dress, it's got some lace dealing, lace dealing, some lace detailing here at the front, some nice little sort of corally peach bows, and just like a grey mole body, and the end is of lace as well, I just thought that was really really pretty, um, sometimes when I have like a really nice bath and a pamper and a tan, I don't want to put like old clumpy pyjamas and I want to feel like really nice and girly again so I picked that up I think it was three or four pounds and I was just like buzzing with it. Sticking on the pyjama theme I really feel like I'm going to burn but I don't think I am. I hope. Yes so sticking on the pyjama theme I picked up a new dressing gown I think that this was like eight or ten pounds um, again it's grey, loving the grey guys, just grey with little white hearts on, it has a tie around and two pockets and I love this, especially for like in the mornings when I take Molly out for her morning wee, it is freezing and because it's like 7 in the morning I'm not going to get dressed because I don't need to at that time, I just put my pyjamas on and I put this around me, I can wander into the garden and it's just like that extra layer of warmth, um, but it's so super soft, I actually need to put it in the wash because I've been wearing it like loads, like just to even chill in the house, on the sofa, yeah, it's getting a bit dirty now. I also picked up some new slippers because, well basically I spilled curry on my old ones and they didn't survive the wash, so yeah. Um, these are some memory foam, woo, slippers, they are grey knit on the front and the softest, fluffiest outline, I love these, they're so comfortable, so warm and snuggly. However, I literally broke them as soon as I got into the house. I am so heavy handed, I like rip tags off and stuff. So I did actually rip the stitching for the fur here, but it's fine. These were like four or five pounds and they're still super comfy inside. I don't know why I put the, the bottom of the shoe to my face, it's a little bit weird. Now, this next item, I didn't really know where to get because I don't know if I like the style or not. It's very 90s, it's that sort of, well I'll just show you. It's a white t-shirt with a black spaghetti strap dress over the top. I think this was £8. Now, I'm really indecisive whether I like it or not. Sometimes I look at people on Instagram and I'm like, oh my god, they pull that off so well. I and mean, then sometimes I wear it and I'm like, 
what the hell am I doing? I've got my ears mixed up. So let me know your thoughts on this sort of like layering the t-shirt and dresses and jumpsuits because I really can't decide on it. And also I keep seeing people having like the velvet tops underneath and I'm like, oh, do I try it? Do I not? I don't know. It's a hard one. And next I picked up another green item and it's just, again, the weird neckline. I really need to find out what this neckline is called. Um, it's three quarter length sleeves um, and quite long. I would say it just goes over your bum so you could wear it with leggings. Just a really nice deep green top. I thought for this time of year that sort of green is a really nice colour to wear. It's very festive, very Christmassy um, and that was £6. I Next, now this item's been in Primark for like months and I keep trying it on and putting it back and I was like why did I just buy it? Like every time I'm in here I'm obviously interested by it so this time I bought it. Excuse the makeup stains because I wore this and I was going to put it in the wash and I was like no I'm filming a video don't wash it because it won't be ready so excuse the orange. It is a white cold shoulder top but it's almost like a knitted feel to it, it's like knitted cotton if that's a thing. It's long sleeves and I just really really like this, it's really cosy and comfy however me and white just have this real love-hate relationship because I live fake tan like whenever I wear white I just get it everywhere, it's so frustrating. Um, I also bought another top and this is just a plain grey and white striped long sleeve top. I have loads of short sleeve tops and now that it's getting colder I really need to stock up on the long sleeved ones. I also have like a fur gilet, faux fur, not real because I love animals and all that. Um, don't know why I have to say that. So it's really nice to be able to just have something long sleeved and throw that on um, and it looks like a really cute little outfit. Um, I think this is the final thing for clothing before we move on to other items um, and this is a grey mile sort of a sort of it is a long sleeved waterfall cardigan but when I say it's long you guys it like comes to my ankles but I have loved wearing that with little black shoe boots with a nice little dress underneath I think it looks so 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 nice um, I think it was like nine or ten pounds it wasn't very expensive and they had loads of colors so I'm definitely going to be picking up a few more of those I think they had like a burgundy um, I'm kicking myself not forgetting now because obviously it's perfect for this time of year so recently I've decided that I needed to clear out, had this massive bag clear out, then realised I had no clutch bags. Like, I went OTT with the clear out. So I bought this gorgeous rose gold clutch bag with just a little handle. Um, it did have some tassels on, but I took them off because they were just really annoying. You can reattach them though. Um, but I love this, it's just plain. Um, I have some rose gold heels, they match wonderfully, and it's a really decent size as well. Um, when I go out on a night out, I seem to have to take my whole life with me. So, you know, the bigger the bag, the better. Oh, and I think that was like five pounds. Oh, my hair's in my mouth. So, I'm actually a bit of a hypocrite saying bigger is better because I recently picked up this teeny tiny little bag. Um, I think this was like four, or five pounds i know guys i'm sorry i'm absolutely rubbish with prices it's because as soon as i get home i just rip all the tags off and i'm like ha mine now and i've done that so many times and then i've had to take something back and it's really awkward but anyway um i loved the color of this it's like a lilac metallic oh love it um i love that it's got a long strap um it hasn't got that much space inside but you know it's okay for a night out. I just, I love the strap and the colour of it. I've never seen something this colour before. Um, so I really did fall in love with that. Uh, next, I just bought some cosmetic pads. 100% cotton. And they're now a new lower price of 90 pence. Um, you can't go wrong. I always need these to take off my makeup. They're always by the teal, so I picked some up. I also picked up some of the new Primark makeup range. And I bought four of their lip crayons. If you can see the colours. And you guys, these are so pigmented for £2.50. I am definitely going back and getting more. And I'm sorry, but how on point are their colours as well? They are so on trend right now. Um, and £2.50, I was just like, buzzing. Now, I what? oh my god, my hair. I think it's because I'm leaning down and coming up. My hair's like doing the thing from the grudge. Oh god, that's going to scare me actually. <laughs> Moving on. Um, I was looking for that strobe cream. Like... Um, the glow cream or something that Primark have brought out and I really wanted to try it but mine had sold out, annoying. 
Um, if anyone is in the Birmingham area and you've seen it reinstock, comment below because I need to try that bad boy. Um, but I did try the new um, Glow Face Mask and Glow Instant Radiance instant radiance serum really enjoyed both of these as well at the minute guys so i would recommend getting your hands on them the, the serum's two pound fifty and the face mask is three pound i did actually use this the other night and my face was so soft afterwards i had a bath with it on and i really did actually enjoy it for three quid bargain i'm really sorry if i'm in a different position or slightly out of focus something like that the camera battery died i have slimming world in like half an hour and I still need to finish this haul you guys <laughs> okay anyway moving on so um what did I just show you I remember I'm just getting stuff out of the bag <laughs> lol right yes I did just lol as well um now I also picked up one of these little um contour brushes i don't really know what to call them um but i've really, really been enjoying it i think this is like one pound or one pound fifty from primark and they had different sizes but i bought one to try it um but i would definitely be going back to be buying more it is so super soft you guys i was gonna get some off ebay but i thought oh i'm getting for primark for even cheaper buzzing so i did um now this next thing like i've actually bought my mom as a stocking filler because like it's a personal joke we have and I don't think anybody else will get it but between me and my mom but it's the poo emoji <laughs> yes <laughs> me and my mom have this joke about it basically and so every year I do my mom like a little stocking and I thought oh that would just be really funny to put in there um, it was two pound they did have a range of all the different like the monkey faces the heart eyes um I just thought it was something funny and quirky to like put in her stocking I hope she doesn't watch this video now um, next thing, right, I'm really peed off. I bought this choker, it's £2. Now it has one plain lace on there. It had a larger lace on there, which is gorgeous. And then it had like this, this style one where you tie it up. It broke, you guys, before I'd even got home. But for £2, I just thought, whatever. Like, I still have these two, which are really nice. But I was a little bit annoyed at that. Um, and then for £1.50, I bought three velvet chokers. Two little thin ones and one thick one. They also had um, a red velvet bow choker. And I wish I got it now. Like, basically, when I go to Primark, I fill my basket up. And then before I pay, I have, like, a sort out. Like, what do I actually want? What did I just pick up on the whim? And I got rid of the choker and I'm kicking myself because I really want it now. And I keep seeing all these outfits that would look perfect with it. But you know. Um, I also picked up for £3 this marble and rose gold notebook. Um, I don't actually want it for the notebook. I wanted it for my Instagram for putting pictures on. I just thought it was really, really cute. Um, and for three quid, nice little background sorted. Um, now have a lot of shoes to show you guys we're nearing the end of the haul I did say it was a long one i've saved all the shoes till the end because jesus they're good these are all autumn winter shoes as well i needed a complete revamp on my shoe wardrobe so first pairs i think these were 15 look at these bad boys you guys they are, they're sort of just above the ankle boots, really nice chink heels, so they're super easy to walk in. And they are grey, um, sort of like a mauvey purple lilac and black. Love these, you guys. I've been wearing them so much. One thing I will say, size up. That's a lie. Don't size up. There's one pair of shoes you need to size up in. That's not there. <laughs> do your normal size in those shoes but I love them I really really love them now I also picked up these gorgeous long grey boots these are like thigh high ones these are the ones you need to size up in guys because they're very tight it might just be because I've got big thighs but um yes I love these 22 pounds um nice little gold detail to detailing on the heel and I actually saw those on the Primark um Instagram and I was like whoa 
I need some grey boots in my life. Next I picked up some rose gold pointed shoes, I think these were £6. Absolutely love these, I'm really into rose gold at the minute. Um, and I've got so many boots, I thought it would be nice, you know, if the sun does make an appearance, uh, just to have some nice flat shoes to wear as well, or even for work or something I think they'd be really nice for. I also picked up another pair of boots, I have a lot of tan handbags, so I thought why not get some tan boots, these were £8, just little Chelsea boots, they're elasticated, and you guys, they're the comfiest shoes I think you're going to find in a Primark. Um, next I picked up these Unreal heels, I know, I know, how gorgeous are these you guys, I think that these were £15, but I thought for the Christmas season, bargain, loved it. And finally, as my haul comes to an end, I bought these bad boys for a fiver, and yes, that almost hit my face, uh, these were £5, just black lace-up heels in the sale, can't go wrong, they've got a stiletto heel and I just thought they were really, really pretty. Now, I am rushing because my battery's slashing again, but guys, I hope you enjoyed the haul. I said it was a long one. I'm sorry I haven't made a video for a while. If I'm honest, this year has been shit. Um, sorry if there are younger viewers, don't swear, it's horrible. Um, but yeah, this year's been awful, so I'm trying to get back on track. Um, and so here I am with a huge haul for you. If you liked it, please give me the big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. I will be back with more videos soon. And yeah, I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys!